Genesis 4. 15 And the Lord said unto him, Therefore whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord said to Mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. It's a sign to people they may say why don't you preach or going to hell if you're not saved. While hell is a real place. And I do believe that if you're not saved and you die in 2017 this age before Jesus comes you can go to hell. Unless you're raised from the dead and get a second chance or something. And that there is a thousand years till judgment day. Asleep at the coming of the Lord. Until judgment day if you're not saved. And remember Jesus is the only way to his Father. Which is better to say to someone get saved because of hell or because God loves them and is good and the things of the devil and this world too is not God's fault and he has a plan for them. God put a mark on Cain as a sign. When Jesus brings people back to life in a thousand years, he won't kill them. Like Cain he will let them live. Exile to another place in the universe other, and their sin burns in hell, that's inside marks them so they can't go to heaven, and they lose God's blessing for them, the infinite blessings, as a child of God, and beyond, while Jesus will let them repent, they're still marked, God has big plans to bring people back to life, think of time travel in the Bible God made time stand still, he turned the sun back, Bible speaks of other dimensions, where angels appeared from, everything we ever did is stored in energy, in space, because of the gravity, the bending of space earth and our sun has weight effects on space time, leaving a dimension of past time, as the earth moves through space, with time travel you can teleport someone's DNA micro dots back to this energy reconstruct and regenerate them, out in space in the time dimension in another world, so these people will have a chance to repent in the future. In the dimension and some can be moved out of that dimension. Some may decide to move out into space or live closer to God in space, near angels, so there won't be many people who even need exile to another planet for not being saved during Judgment Day when Jesus brings people back to life from hell. In Revelations it said he saw a great number no man could number. In heaven, and people buried can be brought back to life with technology super water to regenerate them. Grow back. They get another chance. And humans that have left to space long ago. There could be trillions of them out there or more. Uncountable. They can get saved and restoring life, salvation works for them too and aliens other creatures that God made, he said go preach and save every creature. That includes angels aliens. And think even a cats or dogs can be restored with time travel brought back to life. God can send his angels to sort out people from heaven who need to merge with earth part again. Because as you know when you go to heaven you're made whole. In heaven and the dead in Christ raised from the dead during the rapture. How do you think Jesus brings people back to life? By using time travel he is Lord over time, the only time Lord is Jesus. And when he said preach to every creature there is no mistake, it means that. And the Pope had it right. Creature in Greek in my Bible concordance means creature. So people say, why don't you let the devil win and preach hellfire? to threaten people to get saved. For years the church has never had Jesus' words and the true power of prayer he gives us, and the revelation that all things are possible. The doctrine of the church has been the problem. There are many people who did do want to be saved because they thought it was God's fault that he was for hell and sickness, disease and killing that the children of Israel and Christians in the Roman Catholic Church did in his name, but it's not true God never did any of that. That's the devil's only plan, the only thing he has left to lie and say that God isn't good or perfect. That it's his fault when it's the devil's. Counterfeiting it. Saying anyone who believes in God's goodness is a new age or a secular Christian. Or has to be. We are not new age or secular, we're Christians filled with Jesus' Holy Spirit. The words of Jesus are the literal words of God. And the words on Mount Sinai by God, not Moses' words, are the literal words, maybe not quotes, but are the words, the ones that are. 
the entire Bible and the church is filled with men's doctrine prophets teachers. And the church is too. But that's the old church. The devil's only play was to brainwash us so that even the very elect would be deceived and because God loves us he takes responsibility for the church even when he didn't have to. For stuff and sin that cost the kingdom. He forgave. Sent Jesus to save us. Pray Christians the devil wants to brainwash the body of believers. And make God look bad. Through man's doctrine, which Jesus preached against in the wrong words of Moses and of the Pharisees and of today's old church, where Moses stroked the rock instead of speaking to it like God said, thus adding to God's word and God said not to, and adding to the word of God from Mount Sinai passing it off as God in the books, why God didn't bless Moses to go into the promised land, why Jesus said never to bind the soul and not to make a vow. It's a sin but Moses said to vow. God may have said that a husband can null void a vow by his wife. But Moses induced that by creating vows that God never wanted. And added the vows in the word. And Jesus said it was from man not God. God never wanted the Israel people to kill innocent. He understood that they may have to fight. So they were not taken to sacrifice their children to other idols by invaders and enslaved. He allowed them and their prophets to do what they wanted, but God had a plan he created to vote servants which Moses took made into something bad. God said don't kill the innocent in war or the children. Make them your citizens to vote servants give them freedom. Ladder. Don't kill them but what did they do? They would kill some of their devote men claiming some devote men are not set aside for freedom life but for destruction. That's why Jesus said woe when these people speak good of you and a prophet is not recognized in his own home. And you will be persecuted. If you follow me, and in John's book the last book, how God said he was going to judge the wicked church and remove their candlesticks and lampstands. And you may think it old fashioned for some to say good people go to heaven but those that do the will of God don't reject him. And are good not evil and repent of sin. He that is not against God but is on his part are saved. That can mean being good and accepting God one time. In some way his goodness, his love in your heart, hope and believing in a higher power. That is God. Going to church and praying at some point. God has grace and mercy. Sometimes people are kept in line in heaven in rooms, not allowed to go to hell even when they deserve it because he loves them. Grace mercy plan. And below accountable people, people who don't know Jesus, maybe never heard of or didn't hear right below accountable. Given grace in heaven people sinning bad away from God given grace. And are saved by grace not works. Which is it easier to say those sins be forgiven thee or get up and walk get saved or get saved to escape hell only or do it because you love God. And he is good. God could show people reveal himself. To everyone. The church can say more would get saved from doctrines. And hell fire damnation. Preaching but some people. If they had everything still wouldn't get saved. It's not because they haven't heard of hellfire, but people just don't understand God's love. Knowing that people have heard of hellfire. And that's not getting them saved. But people like Eve can be deceived. By a snake the devil's plan from the beginning to make God look bad because man and woman poisoned themselves on the devil's modified tree of lies. And the devil wanted to kill their soul, but Jesus came and saved them. Told us the truth not to listen to doctrines of men and Moses' bad laws in the church of them. The well have no need of a physician, but the sick I don't expect. The church to accept this. It's not for them but the lost. And those who want to join us in winning them. With the truth. Of God's love. Where the church has by ignorance driven them away. Alongside the world. Deceived by the devil. Like Eve, God was never for death even the penalty for death. He put the mark on Cain. God designed us to live forever everyone, not just the saved. Told us to raise the dead to life. Gave us abundant life. Said he would lose nothing. The devil came to kill that. Deceive so people would stay dead in hell. God is not the God of death. He is our creator and savior. He gave Jesus his only begotten son that who believes on him. 
would not perish, but live forever, and condemned not the world, but came to save all of it, so no one stays dead forever, and gave abundant life, so that we don't have to die ever. It's not required. By Him. Ever. And to be saved know Him always, and for all to repent to know Him better. And be His friend. Now we will read the reference of scriptures. Some of them. Also please learn more with the other messages that go into greater detail. Revelation 7 9 9 After this I beheld, and, lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, and kindreds, and people, and tongues, stood before the throne, and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes, and palms in their hands. Mark 16 15 minus 16 15 And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. 16 He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be unsaved. Matthew 5 34 minus 37 34 But I say unto you, Swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, 35 Nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, 36 Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black, 37 But let your communication be, yea, yea, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Luke 6 26 26 Woe unto you, when all men shall speak well of you. For so did their fathers to the false prophets. 22 Blessed are thee, when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil, for the Son of Man's sake. 23 Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy. For, behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. Luke 4.24 And he said, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. Mark 64 But Jesus said unto them, A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. 3 Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. 4 John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace, from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, 5 and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, six and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. 7 Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. 8 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. 9 1 John, who also am your brother, and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God, and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. 10 I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice, as of a trumpet, eleven sang, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and, what thou sayest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Samirna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Twelve and I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, thirteen and in the midst of the seven candlesticks one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Fourteen his head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, fifteen his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. 
16 and he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. 17 And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last, 18 I am he that liveth, and was dead, and, behold, I am alive forevermore, amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. 19 Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. 20 The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Revelation 2 King James Version, KJV 2 Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, to I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars. 3. And hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast labored, and hast not fainted. 4. Nevertheless I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. 5. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. 6. But this thou hast that thou hadst the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. 7. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. 8. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna write, These things saith the first and the last, which was dead, and is alive. 9. I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. 11. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. 12. And to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things saith he which hath a sharp sword with two edges. 13. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. 14 But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. 15 So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. 16. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. 17. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth saving he that receiveth it. 18. And unto the angel of the church in Thetira write, These things saith the Son of God, who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. 19. I know thy works, and charity, and service, and faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. 20. Notwithstanding I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. 21. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. 22. Behold, I will cast her into a bed and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds.
23 And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts, and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. 24 But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Thetira, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden. 25 But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. 26 And he that overcometh, and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. 27 And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. 28 And I will give him the morning star. 29 He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto thee. Revelation 3 King James Version, KJV 3 And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God, and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name that thou leavest, and art dead. To be watchful, and strengthen the things which remain, that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. 3. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast, and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. For thou hast a few names even in Sardis which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. 5. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father, and before his angels. 6. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Now when Jesus was talking about killing the Jezebel spirit in the churches, he didn't mean he would kill people in the church, but he would kill the devil's evil spirits. In the churches, and allow judgment on Jezebel spirit drunk with the blood of the saints which had committed murder and deceived the churches. Not literally killing people. But judgment is coming. On the spirits in those people. And the devil may try to harm them in the last days. The one world religion Christianity isn't religious. But Jezebel will be in the church with the false prophet. And a part of one world religion. A part of the church that murdered people. In the name of the church not in the name of God. Like they claimed. For their own. Power. So part of Jezebel is the one world religion of the devil coming. It represents all the evil done. By the devil through peoples. And religions. And their governments. 7 And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. 8 I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. 9 Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie, behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. 11. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown. Twelve him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. Thirteen he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. 14 And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. 15 I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot, I would thou were cold or hot. 16 So then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spoil thee out of my mouth. 17 Because thou sayest, I am rich, and increase with goods 
and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked, eighteen I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with thyself, that thou mayest see, nineteen as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous therefore, and repent. Twenty behold, I stand at the door, and knock, if any man hear my voice, and open the door, I will come in to him, and will sup with him, and he with me. Twenty one to him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame, and am set down with my father in his throne. 22. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. The faithful church saved from trails or tribulation or transported to heaven. Rapture to Philadelphia the last. Are blessed. Each represents churches today good or bad lukewarm. So I believe that whoever knows Jesus, no matter what church you're from, if you truly know him and live for him, you're saved and he forgives you. But judgments and removing of lampstands and candlesticks and in bad churches are coming. Churches that don't worship Jesus but idols are in trouble. And you shouldn't worship statues of Earth Mother Mary. She's not God. Just Jesus' earthly mother. Don't worship dead people either like the disciple Peter or preachers. It's having idols no other God but Jesus and his Father Holy Spirit of them as written in Ten Commandments, and don't worship nature or planet stars. Methylgoy, that's wrong. That is creation. Don't worship idols of wood or stone or anything idol. Graven images. Idols aren't Jesus. Nothing to do with him and beliefs are not Jesus. Believing in something, like occult teaching, doesn't save you its idol try. It's not the church and religion that saves its Jesus Christ accepting him, living for him, and the blood he paid for our sins. John 14 6, 6 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. The way to all that to heaven with the Father. And salvation, life, truth, to be one of God's children, living as family with him only through Jesus Christ and what he tells you love him, everyone love and keep his commandments repent turn away stop doing, sin evil ask for forgiveness for sin evil if you love him, accept him don't reject him, don't take the mark of evil, accept his forgiveness believe on him, for it, salvation, eternal everlasting life that he gives to us, more you than leave follow him, Love God, with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind, and everything Him and His goodness. Be a Christian born again, into His family. Be holy, strive to be, and just be like Him and love Him as your friend. Be it perfectly, be the best you can be for Him. Love Him perfectly, pure, holy, and others. Do good, ask for forgiveness all the time, repent. When you sin, pray to do better. Pray for others lead them to Jesus. Ask God to heal people pray. And raise the dead to life. In his name, bless people give to the poor everyone bless them not just with money but with other things food water things. Be good to them. Love them. Love with your life love your neighbor as yourself everyone is your neighbor including your enemies. Jesus said to love them, bless them. Pray for them that he spitefully use you, and not to hurt them. Praise Jesus. Lift up his name, glorify him. Confess him. Tell people what he has done for you, us.